everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today I am doing a quick video on the ERS US PED um, interaction voices. The reason I'm doing this is because I had a couple questions in our ERS install um, about it all being based on British voices. Could you change that? All of that. So someone in the community actually made a pack of US voices, over 650 lines, um, just adding some new lines in there, making it a little bit more US based. So I wanted to share this with you guys today, show you how to install it, and then we'll check it out in game to just make sure it's working. Um, I am working on the MDT video as we speak, um, so that will be coming out hopefully later this week, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's get straight into this. So it's pretty easy to download this. It's on their Discord. I'll leave a link to it down in the description under their content forum for ERS. And you obviously have to have ERS installed for that. If you haven't done that yet, I'll leave a card in the top right hand corner to our ERS install video. But anyway, if you have it installed, it is just this download right here. If it actually has the most recent download, it's all the way about halfway down. Just click that link that they provided, download this uh, zip file, and then open it up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you like to use to open up your files. And in here, you can see there's a couple things we're going to have to do. There is an install and info um, document. It just says what the different changes are and then how to install them. It's pretty simple. I'm going to explain how to install them, but you can read through it if you would like to read through it instead. And then you have the config lines Lula as well. If you would like to, um, we're going to have to modify the config. Um, so I'm going to drag this to my desktop. I've already done that over here and open it with notepad plus plus just to have it open here. This is what we're going to copy and paste into our um, files. So I'm just going to keep this open for now. Keep it very easy and very simple for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our night ERS folder, go to NUI, and then go to sound. This is where all of your existing sounds are going to be located. So we're not going to go ahead and remove any of this, but what we're going to do is we're going to drag all of these in. Um, so we're going to go into mail one and we're going to go ahead and copy all of those files and then drop them into that folder very simple and you can see you now have all of those files now listed in here and I'm only going to install the um, I think you can only install one of the two so it says move all files from your desired voice so we're going to do the mail um, voice um, it says copy all files right into the sounds folder I wonder if you can do both that's something that's actually going to be interesting and we can try that out in this video because if we look at this it looks like male and female does the actual config have it see i'm going along just with you guys so we're going to go ahead and just double check this see if we drag both or just drag one in so if we go down to where we have our sound files in the default configure file here it does have both of them so we can go ahead and drag both of them in that's even better we can have all of them so we go back into sounds here we've done the male sounds let's do the female sounds and go ahead and drag those into the folder very simple. Then we're going to go ahead and go back to our config file now that we have both of them open. So in our config file here, you can see you have under, um, I think it's under interaction, pet interaction sounds file. You can see that they've provided a new group of pet interaction sounds files. So we're going to copy this whole section, all of the pet interaction sounds that they give us, and we're going to replace it all of their examples with this ped interaction file just like that so you can see all of our new files and all of the ones that we've now copied from their example into our main config is now here so we're going to just make sure they're all here go to the top and you can see that they've actually pasted in correctly so we have all of our files in there and go ahead and save if you run into any errors on startup you know you've probably done something wrong so we're just going to go ahead and start the server to ensure that we have no errors on that startup and make sure that it loads successfully. So we're just going to wait. I have a lot of resources on this server, so it's going to take us a minute to actually start it up, but I'm going to let it start up. I'll be right back. All right. So our game loaded up here and you can see night shifts has loaded successfully. So we are um, good. We have nothing to worry about here. It's loaded up. Um, you can see that I'm a little outdated. I'm going to have to update the um, stuff, but you can see everything else is good. So why don't we go ahead and launch the game and check it out from inside. All right, we are in game here. Excuse the air to conditioner in the background. It's very cold here or hot here, whatever it is. I'm going to go ahead and start my shift. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go um, stop a vehicle over here, I think. 
is probably going to be our best bet to try to talk to someone. All right, dude. Can you go ahead and get out of the vehicle for me? Thank you. I'm going to interact with this guy. You look like you've got something to say. So you can see it's already different languages than what we've previously had. So if I ask him for his ID, Please present your ID. it's going to have a different talk there. You're on thin warning. ice. Consider this your warning. Oh, he's filming me. That's not fair. So this guy's an expired license. Turn around and put your hands behind so your back. So you can back. see it's all new voices. So pretty cool. Pretty easy to set up. Very simple. All of that good stuff. You can grab him as well. Come with me, sir. Um, and yeah, so it's it's a pretty simple, pretty easy um, install. Just if you want to use it, you can feel free to use it. Um, and I can uncuff him, obviously. Hold on. Let's see. I'm cuffing you. Don't move. There we go. So we've uncuffed him. And now we're going to let him go. You're clear to go. Have a good one. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy to install. Um, they've also, if you go to this community forum over here on their um, Discord, where did it go? It disappeared from my view here. A content forum. Here we are. Um, there is a lot of stuff here. So if you want US 10 codes for the MDT, we'll go over this um, to when we're using the MDT install in a couple days. There's also uh, dispatch voice lines, which replaces the default voices uh, for dispatch. You can go ahead and download that. The install's pretty much exactly the same. Um, there's a lot of different stuff. There's different callouts here. You can do sniper callouts. Um, you can also do Polish if you're Polish, if you want those uh, audio pack. They have an armed demonstration callout. Um, Brazilian, Portuguese, all of all of that is available as well. Um, so there's a lot of different resources you can find here if you're interested in it. Um, and then obviously if you have suggestions for people to make stuff, they have a chat and all of that and they have an API and you can go through and kind of figure out what's required for all of those resources. But it um, doesn't change like this music for toggle shift or anything because it's literally just the um, uh, audio from the player's interactions. But there's obviously so many different audio files. If you just look inside of this uh, resource, uh, if you go to resources and you go to ERS, where is it? I know it's somewhere around here. I think it's under night ERS. Uh, yeah, night ERS. If you go into this sound folder, there's so many, like we added a bunch in here obviously, but you can customize the other ones to your liking or replace them with your own custom voices. I saw someone who replaced it with like an LEPD dispatcher. So there's so many things. You can also replace the images if you want to. Um, there's also like fonts. If you want to change the font for some reason, just modify the styles and all of that. Then there's a credit file obviously for anybody who's uh, created the music or anything like that. So feel free to modify that to your liking if you need, and um, you'll just go from there. But thanks for watching, everybody. And if you have any questions, let them know over on the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully installing the MGT if I can get around to it this weekend. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.